Oh, what's up? I'm Epidemic Chicken. Here to do a collective reading. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Building anticipation. <laughs> no. Um, I already shuffled all the stuff. I got my little position cards here for like visual aids. And I don't know. I feel like the messages are like really clear. And uh, I swear I put the intention of like collective energy but like I am a human being so like maybe it's all right that I relate to this but anyways um I'm using my usual using my usual spread um I don't expect y'all to remember it but anyway the theme <laughs> that we got is solar plexus self-confidence personal power and strength and the sliding is not good but it's all right I'm dealing with it um, and then with that clarifying, we got trust yourself. So already I can tell that this is going to be about like self-confidence and like believing in ourselves. And yeah, maybe we're um, having a hard time doing that at the moment. Definitely can relate. But uh, and then we move into the little obstacle position. We got ego death with familiar isn't always safe i'm sorry if you can't see them but like, i'll explain so yeah this says surrender let go of control or let go of control so that's that so, i mean we're dealing with some freaking holding on to some things that maybe aren't in our best interest <laughs> because we don't really like i don't know we might not have a lot of faith in ourselves at the moment but yeah, what we're really uh, trying to accomplish here for that, we got true love. It says new love, reconciliation, union. And don't be fooled by out there clarifying that. Then for the guidance, I swear I'm going to go into more detail. I feel like this just takes way too long, but whatever. It just helps me to like set the freaking tone of what I'm even saying. So for guidance, we got La Luna, Hidden Emotions, Release, Journey to Truth, Healing. With dishonesty is a form of self-betrayal. No shade. <laughs> so the uh, last card, time, uh, sorry, encouragement to kind of like give a little boost. We got time off, overwork, drain, mental and physical disconnection. I thought this came out last reading I did. Because I remember that was typo on the card. <laughs> and uh, with that, we got exist on your own terms. Can you see that? But yeah. <sighs> Anywho, alright. So, I'm just getting that. Maybe some folks like myself have been having a hard time, like with, um, I don't know. Whoever watches my stuff, I guess maybe like you relate to me. I don't understand how people even find me, but hopefully I'm just gonna trust that like this resonates. But if not, I mean, feel free to go and find something else that does. But um, I myself have been like struggling a lot with like self acceptance, and I don't know. It's just like I've almost built this identity around that like clearly i'm still talking about it <laughs> like i like once now that i've built sort of that like self-hatred entity um it's really hard to like let it go like with this little ego death i'm just feeling like sometimes like if we live life not really feeling valid in who we are or like if we like learn not to trust ourselves then I don't know it can be hard to like let those things go just because like it's almost like not to have even that identity of just like not liking you who you are is still like an identity so like it makes you feel like comfortable like with this familiar isn't always safe it's like maybe what you know is like not uh, in your best interest like even if it feels like 
familiar in just what you usually do. Like, what am I trying to say? I don't know. There's like a sad comfort in like hating yourself sometimes when you're when that's what you know and it's kind of like I don't know I'm thinking of like a video that I did like a while back with one of my friends and uh, we were talking about like uh, anger and fear and how like I said in the video like I watched this the other day that's why it's like on my mind but I said like anger and fear are my friends so like I was gonna feel sad about like letting them go or whatever but, like, I think that's what it is. It's, like, we just form these attachments with, like, I don't want to say, like, unhealthy habits. But just, like, these coping mechanisms that we've developed. <laughs> like, um, that got us through. So, like, maybe in another time, it felt necessary to, like, internalize all of like the pain and stuff that you went through or like rejection even and like form this narrative about that that made you feel like it was your fault or something i don't know i feel like this is weird i don't like talking to but uh i don't know i feel like we make sense of things like the best we know how in the moment like based on what we have available like so maybe like say you never really had examples of like people like loving themselves like you didn't know what that was like so like all you really had available was like well blame myself hate myself like that's the way so that's what i'm getting here it's just like sometimes that's all we know and that becomes like enough to get us through but then, like, there comes a time when, like, you kind of got to, like, outgrow some things and let it go. I don't really know, like, what purpose self-hatred serves, like, as far as, like, helping, like, I'm just thinking in my own life, like, how it's, um, how it's kind of helped me, I guess. I mean, I guess it makes me feel safe to, like, hate myself because, like, then if someone else doesn't like me or something, it's kind of, like, I'm already my own worst enemy, so like no one can hurt me if like I've already hurt myself, which sounds like probably really horrible. But I don't know. I think that's kind of an example of what I'm trying to get at here. If I'm making any sense at all, it's just like it's more comfortable to just like accept that you're horrible than to actually believe that you might not be. Does that make sense? I don't. Know, it's harder to uh, shift that narrative. I don't know. Maybe other people aren't like as far as me like with that but yeah so the issue is just to, like surrender those old understandings and be open to like like you know believing in yourself and not feeling like you shouldn't exist just because like you're not like everyone else uh so yeah what we're trying to get to is like true love and I don't even think this necessarily has to be, I mean, there's clearly two little elephants in this car, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, with another person. I mean, ultimately, like, we're here to connect, and, like, that would be really nice. But, like, I feel like the, the, the true love starts, like, within a little cheesy crap they say. It's, like, <laughs> very true, because if, if you're not good with you, like, it kind of it definitely vibrates out there and affects other people. And, uh, yeah, with this Don't Be Fooled By Out There card, I don't know why I'm showing you, like, you can see it. But <laughs> I'm just getting that, um, I don't know, this is something that I've been thinking about the past couple days. Just, like, how I compare myself to, like, everybody else and how it looks, like, out there versus, like, how I'm experiencing life. And the more I do that, the less okay I feel and I know better than to do that but there's just some weird thing like in my head that just like convinces me that I'm just doing it all wrong <laughs> and like all these other people know what they're doing and I'm just like over here floundering but uh I don't know if I'm if I take a step back and think about it like there's no way that anyone can ever be me, be me and I can't be them 
So it's kind of like nobody's really doing it wrong or right. It's just kind of like we're all just doing it. <laughs> so I don't know why I put so much pressure on myself, but hopefully, like, you don't do that. But if you do, like, don't let, like, the illusions of, like, what's the right way to be or, like, I don't know. Because I feel like that, like, don't, I'm sorry, I didn't finish that thought. Don't let those, like, trick you into thinking that you're, like, horrible because I think like looking at how other people are doing things sort of affects like how we feel about ourselves a lot and like I don't know yeah there's something in that and I think we like form these little identities based on how we think we gotta be but really yeah, we don't. <laughs> I feel like there was more of that, but I can't get my brain to, like, express it at this moment. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to keep uh, going. I don't know. I had a little bit more. What is, like, true love crap? Um, sorry. <laughs> this is my orientation to true love. It's, like, evidence of my relationship with myself. But that's changing because I'm ego dying, all right? You're dead. <laughs> uh, anyway, like this true love. <laughs> true love card. Uh, I think like true love is just like. Loving yourself and other people, like, as they are and not how you, like, want them to be or think they should be. Save. I feel like there's something in that, but I just I can't articulate it. But, yeah, this, like, self-confidence thing and, like, trying to be something, like, be good enough. It comes from, like, these expectations that we put on each other and ourselves. So, true love is, like, without freaking restrictions. I mean, it's easy to forget that because we got to live life and, like, play the game. But in reality, like, I don't know. I feel like maybe I've used this example before, but, like, maybe, maybe not. But, like, with your pet, if you have a pet or something, like, you're not sitting there being, like, you're, maybe some people are, but, like, with my cat, I'm not sitting here, like, Sid, you better love me or else, like, you better show me that I matter or I'm not feeding you this freaking kibble. But, like, I don't do that. Sometimes I tell him I'm not feeding him the kibble because he, he's, like, on a diet, but, like, that's out of love. But, I mean, really, is it, though? Because, like, I'm putting the expectation that he has to, like, be a certain weight. But, I mean, the vet said so, so I don't know. But anyways, that's the side from what I'm saying here. But it's just like in like human relationships, I feel like we have these like little expectations that pop up and they're like, well, you got to make me feel like you care because I don't care about myself enough to make myself feel good. <laughs> so I feel like I need you to do it for me. But that's not reality. Like, that's not true. It's not true, love. So uh, anyways, <laughs> so guidance is... Uh, the moon, I guess that means the moon. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's the moon. Hidden emotions release the journey to truth and healing and dishonesty as a form of self-betrayal. So yeah, if you feel like you have to be something other than what you actually are, then that means you're not loving yourself. So, I don't know, maybe there's a lot of like things to confront here about that. Like if you're feeling like you have to hide your true essence from other people or like if you have to bend over backwards being something for someone because like maybe they can't accept you or themselves like that's some stuff that, that, that needs to be dealt with I mean unless you want to just keep living the illusion of love but I'm not here to judge but yeah I don't know. I think that saying that it's sometimes it's hard to see when you actually are um, 
like not living in alignment or whatever you say like with your true self just because like all the expectations of other people and like society and all that like it does like impact you and sometimes you'll be like in this role where like you've just played this little role this little ego <laughs> you've established this identity and then like you've built upon that like for so long and like involved other people and then like they see you a certain way and then it's just like when you want to change you feel like oh my god like this is gonna affect like everyone I know like how am I gonna like be different like how Sid wants in but I'm occupied at the moment I'll be in just a minute I love you sir uh but yeah so like I don't know I'm just feeling I guess called to say like also saying that whole thing about living a lie or whatever I don't feel like it's always like intentional and like don't like judge yourself if you find that you've been doing that or like just going along with something just because you feel like it won't like rock the boat or whatever like the least passive least resistance or whatever I don't think that's the right saying for this situation but I don't know, I'm just saying, I know I've been in a situation where, like, I've stayed longer than I should have, but it's because I didn't want to, like, hurt people involved. But in the end, like, if I'm not feeling it, then it's really hurting me and them. Just maybe not outwardly, but, like, I think eventually stuff just, like, keeps festering under the surface, and eventually it's going to erupt. Like, you just can't hold it in forever. <laughs> like, these hidden emotions like <laughs> they will release in some form so yeah the longer you suppress your true self man like the, the the bigger the freaking impact will be when you finally let it out maybe oh, i don't want to scare people it's fine like it doesn't always have to be like a freaking tower moment like it was for me or maybe it needed to be i don't know maybe sometimes we just need to like wake the frig up and be like this is my freaking life, and I deserve to live it the way that I want to live it. I'm not saying, like, no matter who it hurts, but just, like, if it's so painful for you to be yourself, like, with someone else, then, like, what does that say about them? I don't know where that was going, but it's just, like, I don't know. If other people are more comfortable living the lie, I don't know where this is coming from. Like, why am I talking about this? <laughs> it's just, like, not your problem. To like keep up the illusion, but anyways, I don't I don't know what that's about, but uh, yeah, what's what's coming? So like the encouragement <laughs> is uh time off because we're freaking tired of like running the rat race and being what everybody else needs us to be and not being what we need ourselves to be. <sighs> I mean, not that we need to be anything other than what we are. Like we're already us. Like it's fine. Like, I think the less, that's what I'm saying, like, shed the freaking illusion that you always have to be, like, overcompensating to be accepted or, like, to be enough or to feel, like, confident in yourself. Like, you don't have to earn your freaking existence. You don't have to earn love. All right? <laughs> and then we gotta exist on your own terms. <sighs> because, I mean, at the end of the day, you were freaking born and then you're gonna die and you're like with you the whole time so like you might as well freaking enjoy it like you know make it make it what you want it to be and not what somebody else wants it to be and not be so freaking drained from trying to like people please for the wrong people that can't accept who you are I don't even know what I'm talking about here like I'm just getting a little like flustered because I feel like there's some people out there that need to, like, just give themselves a break. Yeah. <laughs> Order. <laughs> Order in this freaking room. All right. What do I want to say? I think I'm done. I just ranted. So, overall, I mean, I think maybe we're going through a little transformative period, as always. Like, it never ends. And maybe some little illusions are, like, being exposed. And, like, maybe the illusion was, like, that you weren't freaking good on your own. Like, maybe 
you've just believe, been believing that you like aren't enough this whole time. And so maybe that's why things don't feel like they're working out because it's just not the foundation you want to be freaking creating with, man. Like, you just, just, yeah. There's nothing, like, that you need to do. Like, you're already enough. That's what I'm getting. So, I mean, feel the grief. Like, the grief about that. Because I feel like I've been going through this, too. Like, just grieving how much I've, like, freaking wasted. I'm not wasting my life. Because, like, I've learned... But just, like, put other people in situations before, like, myself. And it felt like I had to, like, make other people happy instead of, like, myself. And that's not their fault. It's my fault. But, like, with that comes, like, the need for, like, self-forgiveness. Because, like, I don't know. I learned to do it at some point for some reason. Reasons that I know of that are too long for this video. <laughs> maybe not relevant to other people so i don't know just don't judge yourself or wherever you like have ended up in whatever time you feel like you might have lost because like tomorrow's a new day <laughs> there's like this thing that my mom says i think it's like a jesus song or something she'll be like what is that thing yesterday Yesterday is the closing door. You don't live there anymore or some crap. I don't know. It was very like, I can get with it. But yeah, that might not might even be like how it went. I don't know who said it, sang it, whatever. But it uh, came out for some reason. So anyway, I'm going to just pull one more or two more cards just because I want to. One from Chicken Transition Oracle. And then I got like a. Oh, the only other deck I have out here is a little flower deck thing. I'll do that. So, what's the final message here? I don't know. I'm just getting, like, ain't even nothing. Ooh, ain't even much to, like, do, really. Like, because all the doing is just, like, trying to feel adequate. But that's not necessary. Because, I mean, all this game we play is just, like, a game anyway. So, I mean, just have fun with it. It is all made up. Y'all want to take that? I don't know. This is the dilemma I have sometimes. Just like, I don't know. I don't feel it. <laughs> uh huh. Fine, fine. Uh -huh. Differences. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my God. All right. I'm sorry. I'm good. All right. The differences in that one, I didn't even show you. Sorry. Let me. Ooh. All right, fine. I'm going to read that one probably from my book. And I just want to close it with this. See what it says. What else? <sighs> oh, I feel like freaking heavy in my dang chest. Maybe I need to release some freaking hidden emotions. <laughs> I've been releasing some crap. I've been crying like off and on all freaking week. All right. <gasps> oh my God. Your wishes are coming true, sweet pea. What is what your heart has been longing for is getting closer each day. Not to hate myself. Great. It's happening, man. All right. So anyway, that's a good little, um, if you've been wishing for something, maybe that's a sign that it's coming true, man. It's coming true. You can get out your own way. <laughs> All right. So mine, let's see, what does it say? Differences. Prepare yourselves for the monologue. All right. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Did I read this the last time? The last time? I don't know. Whatever. All right. If someone were to ask a group of people to draw a circle, they would all be different. Assuming everyone in the group has seen a circle before, one might expect they would end up quite similar. Yet some drawings will be smaller or larger, some darker or lighter. Some would be very neat and others rougher around the edges. Those who drew a neater circle might be praised for accuracy, leaving others to feel as if they somehow missed the mark and their interpretation and contribution is wrong. This example illustrates the reality that everyone has a unique point of reference and when we attempt to define the correct version of something, we miss out on other perspectives. 
We limit others and ourselves by not acknowledging the wholeness of our existence beyond learned preferences. Just because certain views and values get passed as truth, truth in certain groups, that doesn't make them true for everyone. Even our views are not most accurate in relation to others, despite them being what we wholeheartedly believe. Harm can come from our refusal to acknowledge the validity of each other's distinctness. The world still needs our opinions and unique perspective just as much as it needs anyone's. There's room for everyone. No matter how hard we try, we cannot change someone else's understanding if they're unwilling to see beyond their views. Even if we feel rejected and like we don't fit in, that means we get to be part of a new understanding in the world. Your contribution may feel small or futile, but all things change with time. So will collective ideas about what is and isn't acceptable. The fact that you exist is a sign they are already on their way. Hold on and keep being you. You belong and you matter. No, oh, I'm so nice. I'm just kidding. Not for real like you do. You matter and if you're different, it's okay. Like we need variety, man. We need it. So no worries. You let go of the little story that you suck because you don't. Yeah. Let the ego die. I mean, it's there to help, but sometimes it hurts. Familiar ain't always safe, man. So, yeah, I'm going to freaking get some air because it's very hot. And uh, just remember to, uh, to, to just trust yourself, man. Love yourself. Do what you got to do to, like, make your wishes come true. <laughs> All right, for real. <laughs> I'm out.